Care, thanks for joining us. First tonight, drivers were forced to sit through long delays again today, and yet another accident in the construction zone on I-64 in Barbersville. A semi crashed this morning, rolling down an embankment onto the Merritt Creek exit and entrance ramp. News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove has a look at the jarring numbers of just how often accidents are occurring in that stretch. Drivers still frustrated, but less and less surprised when an accident in this I-64 construction zone in Cabell County slows them down. It's a mess. Hours of backed up traffic on the interstate in Route 60 after an 18-wheeler hauling methanol traveling east went through a guardrail a little before 6 a.m. and rolled down an embankment ending up on the Maris Creek on-ramp. The driver was still inside, just had minor injuries. The Barbersville Fire Chief says when crews got to the scene, diesel fuel was leaking. He says more than 100 gallons ended up spilling. Crews faced with a big job before the tractor trailer could be towed. There's 10 containers of motor oil, each holding 270 gallons of oil that is going to have to be pumped off. Cabell County 911 estimates since January 1st, there have been 33 crashes in this construction zone. 33 crashes in 65 days, averaging out to an accident here every other day. The traffic congestion is unbelievable. Uh, we understand that, and we do our very, very best to speed up whatever we can to get traffic going as fast as we can. Is it a question of driver error, or is it confusion over the construction zone layout? A written statement from West Virginia Transportation Secretary Jimmy Riston says the bottom line is drivers need to obey all posted signs, slow down and avoid distracted driving to keep West Virginians safe. People need to get behind the wheel and be responsible. You're literally taking people's lives in your hands. Those who've been stuck in gridlock on multiple occasions here wishing for an end to this sense of deja vu. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Barbersville.